everyone, my name is Natasha Prentice and I'm a second year veterinary student at LSU School of Veterinary Medicine. I'm here to talk to you today about some frequently asked questions that we get. So one of those is about housing and what does that look like for our veterinary students? Well, for the most part, um, our veterinary students live pretty close to the veterinary school and I would recommend living about 15 minutes away or so just to make it easier on yourself. Um, for the most part, we live about two to three miles south of the veterinary school on Brightside Drive. There's a lot of condominiums and housing subdivisions and all sorts of uh, housing that could meet your needs. A lot of price points too. So I would highly recommend coming down to Baton Rouge, scoping out the place and taking a look around and seeing what's available because not everything that's available for rent is gonna show up on major rental sites like Zillow or apartments.com. So come down to Baton Rouge, come see us and see what the area is like. Another thing that we get a lot of questions about is about student life. So pre-COVID, we used to have a lot of holiday parties. So we'd have Halloween parties, we'd have Christmas parties, and we'd have um, sort of randomly throughout the semester some social events like mixers with a law school or random costume parties, because why not? Um, and so we used to have a lot of fun doing those sorts of things. We also have events like yoga on the lawn, or uh, the Great Rover Road Run that we do every year. So there's a lot of opportunities to do things other than school. There's also a lot of restaurants and bars in Baton Rouge and really the hardest part is figuring out which one you want to go to. Another question that we get a lot is how to get veterinary experience. And I would say, don't underestimate the power of asking. Ask that veterinary clinic, hey, can I shadow? Or ask the receptionist or the practice manager, what can I do to get hired? What do I need to turn in? And in a lot of college towns, all you need to turn in is a resume and your class schedule so that they can figure out if you're a good fit for their practice. For me personally, I didn't actually have that much clinic experience as compared to the rest of my classmates, but I had leadership experience and I also had research experience. So don't underestimate those things if you have it already on your resume. Some people that are applying to veterinary school ask, should I put my hobbies on my application? And to that I say, it depends on the area of the application that you're answering. So for the VEMCAS essays, that is the essays that everybody has to answer, it might not be so appropriate to put your hobbies down there. But if you are asked to make a personal essay by the institution, I think that's probably the most appropriate place to bring out your qualities because really they're asking you that because they want to know about you and what makes you a well-rounded individual. Another question that we get a lot is, can you hold a job as a veterinary student? And to that I say, yes you can. Um, you wouldn't be able to do full-time work for sure because you will be in school full-time. You can do some part-time things or things that require fewer hours in the week. Some of my classmates are live-ins, which are people that take night shifts at the veterinary teaching hospital to make sure that it's running even in the middle of the night. Uh, some people are class representatives for food companies like Purina or for Royal Canin or for IDEX or Zoetis. There's a lot of different opportunities to get a job in your first year. There's also uh, opportunities that pop up within the veterinary school, like sometimes they need people to man the desk um, at student affairs or um, just random odd jobs that pop up every now and then. But it is completely possible to hold a job. Actually, I'm an anatomy tutor um, this year, which is really exciting. a lot of people actually don't know what our curriculum is like. So I'll shed a little bit of light on that. Um, so for the first two and a half years, we do didactic learning. That is, we study from books and we study for exams and we have people lecture to us and we do hands-on labs. Um, that's not to say that we don't really do clinical things in the first two and a half years. We still have problem-based learning classes, which is you and a group of your classmates solve cases, like real cases, with a clinician. And these are the same clinicians that you're going to see later on whenever you start doing rotations. 
We also get to learn some clinical skills like venipuncture or learning how to do suture patterns. Um, in fact, we ha I have a um, surgery lab this semester, so we get to learn the principles of surgery on cadavers. For the last um, year and a half, you're in clinical rotations, and that is going through different departments within the LSU Veterinary Teaching Hospital or externships at other hospitals or other clinics that you can go to. So we also get the question a lot, what does a typical day for a veterinary student look like? Well, for the first two and a half years, I can say that for the most part, we sit in lecture and we study. So that's probably not very surprising at all, but here's like a little bit more information on that. So from 8 to 12 a.m., for the most part, we are sitting in 50 minute lectures with 10 minute breaks in between. Then we have a one hour lunch period, and then we have either more lectures for about two hours perhaps, or we have a lab in the afternoons. And that can be from one to four, just depends on the lab, depends on the, on the class really. The things that you'll be studying is going to be different um, from semester to semester. Even within the same semester, you might finish some classes earlier and some classes later. So for example, things that a first year might be studying is physiology, anatomy, cell biology, histology, developmental anatomy, and things like that. Really basic courses. But once you get to second year, things start to be a little bit more clinical, so to speak. So some classes that I'm going to be taking this semester include systemic pathology, um, anesthesiology, surgery, and practice management. So really it depends from year to year, from semester to semester. It doesn't all look the same, but if you're really interested in knowing the subjects that we get to learn about, I would highly recommend going on the LSU um, SVM website going under the student resources tab and finding our annual bulletin. There's a whole bunch of really cool information in there and you can even find a class, the classes that we take every year and their course descriptions. Another question that we get asked a lot is, what's your favorite part of veterinary school? And I have to say, it's my classmates. I love them to death and I'm, I mean, I'm heartbroken that I can't really be with them right now, but I'm so excited for the day that I get to sit in class with them again. Sometimes class can be really boring and sometimes studying can be really hard, but they really make it a lot easier for me. Really, I couldn't make it without them. Hey, thanks for tuning in and watching us here uh, for Open House. We really appreciate it and we hope to see you soon. Bye.